Boris Johnson lashed out at Labour leader Keir Starmer's inconsistent messaging over calls for him to resign. The Prime Minister hit out at Keir Starmer was questioning why Boris Johnson had not resigned over the party gate scandal. Mr. Starmer said, talking of parties, he told the House no rules were broken during lockdown, the police have now concluded there was widespread criminality. The ministerial code says that ministers who knowingly mislead the House should resign. Why is he still here? Mr. Johnson hit back, hang on a minute. H has just changed his position. We do at least expect some consistency from this human weather vane. It was only a week or so ago he was saying I shouldn't resign. What is his position Mr. Speaker? Of course the Met must investigate and get on with their job but in the meantime, we are going to get on with our jobs. What we are focusing on is tackling the cost of living, helping people through the spike in fuel prices. Labour had previously dropped calls for Boris Johnson to resign due to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Sir Keir said it is very important the public have trust in their leaders when asked about whether it is the right time to put pressure on the Prime Minister over party gate allegations. He told ITV News, in a time like this, it's very important that the public have trust in their leaders. But I can tell you in the debate in Parliament tomorrow, we won't be talking about party gate. We will be absolutely focused on the amendments that we need to pass to toughen up the sanctions regime. So, our challenge to the government tomorrow is to go further and to go faster on this. Earlier, Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab accepted the fact that 20 fixed penalty notices were being issued by the Metropolitan Police meant COVID regulations had been breached, something No. 10 repeatedly refused to do on Tuesday. However, he insisted Mr. Johnson had not been aware of the infractions when he repeatedly told MPs there had not been any breach of the law. The Prime Minister had been speaking to the best of his knowledge at the time, Mr. Raab said, and had not deliberately lied, even though he had been at some of the events which were under investigation.